Hey, hey, hey! It's your girl! Well, I hope you am your girl. But anyways, um, yes, I am your girl. I am claiming it. I love every one of you guys that follow me weekly and support me and has made my legacy and my prosperity plan successful over the last almost two decades in real estate. Um, celebrating 18 years. And it's a beautiful thing, being able to help making marks, leaving legacies, and helping planning to prosper. <sighs> Plan to prosper. You know, as we always do every year, we plan. What's, what's planning? We talk about business plan, we talk about action plan, and we have to write everything down. What are you planning? So plan is an acronym for me, and it's prepare. Prepare your plan. Leverage your plan. Act on your plan, and nothing is negotiable because it's a non-negotiable item that I have to fulfill my plan. Okay, guys, or your plan. My plan is, hey, I sell real estate. And the plan has been successful in me helping to build generational wealth in whew, hundreds, thousand homes at this point, or hundreds of homes within the last two decades of me practicing real estate. Whether I personally touched that individual by helping those families buy homes or providing even information. I have been blessed to have this mission in, in sharing my ministry in life to help those create generational wealth, how to leverage your money and just really be able to build on your future, all right? And what's building on your future? What does that entail? Uh, and, and you know what? I've seen posts um, about people talking about others, about what's important to those aren't of, of negligible importance because they're more focused on material things that they can purchase as far as, oh, a PS5, or a new phone, or the newest pair of gym shoes, or a name brand purse. And at the end of the day, guys, the reality is that is their, their mission, and that's what's important to them. And we should not cast or chastise any uh, negative vibes on them and that's you know you don't know their mission you don't know their journey you don't know the path that they live in their life okay so let them be and you be you because there is nobody else out there that can be you okay so why not just be you plan to prosper prepare leverage act on and nothing is negotiable as far as making sure that you fulfill your plan. So we talk about business plans and action plans at the end of the year, carrying out our plans into the new year. And the goal is that we hope that that vision is carried out and acted upon every day, every week, every month, every quarter, of the year that you are acting out on your plan. So have you written it down? I have it written down. I have notebooks all over the place. And then I sit down and I take typically twice a week where I review my plans. How am I going to act on that plan? What am I going to do? Is it in writing? And I've said this before, I haven't been the best as far as writing it down it was all in here but when I finally put what was in here and what was on paper and then reading books and um and a very key I am all about my health the alkaline water 
essential oils. These are the things that help ground me and help me continue to drive further and fulfill those goals. Great to see you, Miss Jennifer. Hi, Holly. Um, Happy New Year to you guys. Um, so anyway, again, what are your, what, you know, again, write it down. What is, and I sure hope you have written it down. It's not, it's not too late, guys, to write it down. Write it down because like I was just getting ready to say, when it's up here and in here, your heart, and it's put on paper, it is going to truly, my goodness, I really need to um, get a curling iron because my hair is getting too long. Anyways, um, um, anyways, okay, acting, writing it down, writing it down, and then executing, okay? How are you leveraging your plan? What are you doing? Who are you partnering with? The partners that I have in my business and in life, and in just friendship have been great. It allows me to execute my plan. I said, um, I posted, today is the, my goodness, what day is the, today is the sixth of the year, sixth of the month. And I think it was on Monday or Tuesday. No, today's Wednesday. So I think maybe it was Monday. I had posted on my page, what is your word? For 2021 and I had some great words uh, some were manifest some were consistency some was faith some what oh, I mean there was some that was some phenomenal uh, words and if you're looking for a power word or an action word for you that was another word action um, on that you're looking for a word that helps you carry yourself through 2021 feel free to go through and look at the list and see what resonates with you in your heart and your spirit and 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 make it happen okay uh good morning kita um so yeah uh you know again writing it down what is the plan write it down put together an action plan that helps you arrive at that goal if you need some help whether it be to build a business or to help build a foundation and you know we talk about i talk about foundation all the time it's not necessarily foundation it's not just foundation when it comes to your house it comes to foundation financially do you have a wellness foundation? Do you have a financial foundation? Do you have a spiritual foundation? Those, at the end of the day, every house will crumble if it doesn't have the proper foundation. And so if you have the proper foundation, whatever it is, financially, spiritually, emotionally, it will truly help you arrive your, at your goals as long as you plan to prosper. Okay, guys. So what what are some of your what are some of your goals and, and aspirations for the year? Uh, is it just to is it is it to gain um don't make it simplified, okay? Um and then also don't simplify it too much that it doesn't become a challenge because I love, I love a challenge, okay? A challenge is when you find that it may be something that you're fearful of that it won't be able to achieve. But whatever you set your mind, your heart to do, and you put it in writing and you fulfill and sustain your body with the things that you need to be prosperous, you will definitely meet your goals. So don't ever give up, guys. Don't ever give up. The The goal is to achieve, okay? And when you achieve and accomplish, then you get into a, um, I get into this mode that, oh, I'm going to keep pushing myself. I've been a very competitive person and a competitive person within myself as well, not just with other people. And competition is actually always healthy if you 
leverage it right because competition should entice and encourage others to do well for themselves. I, I, I look at the situation of where I, I, I don't mention this a lot, but I also am, I actually got into real estate 18 years ago, uh, buying and fixing and flipping properties. And what I find is when you work on a home, and there was one time we bought, bought a home, this was about 10 years ago, we bought a home and it was the ugliest house on the block. And it was, it was a uh, well-received, uh, well, we were well-received by the neighbors uh, as far as being able to put together a home that has been sitting on this block, uh, abandoned, and it was re revitalized, refreshed, remodeled, rehabbed, and a lot of the neighbors came through and say, hey, thanks so much for putting this house uh, together and we really appreciate that this house looks way better now uh, and then what did it do it encouraged it it made other people look at their own home and they're like you know what I need to do a new house roof or a new siding or a new coat of paint whatever it is or let me go ahead and put out some landscaping and so we saw that block go from um, you know well manicured to a, a beautiful block okay and that's what I'm talking about competition doesn't always have to be about winning it's just about being able to encourage others to be able to do well as well and so that we can all thrive together so wouldn't it be a beautiful thing to be able to come home and, and see that my block is a beautiful block my block is a block that has people that truly care about where and how they live and how what the neighbors think about and you know it's it's not about caring about what the neighbors think about only okay guys but it's just about hey it's so that everybody is able to come home and appreciate be appreciated okay um so i've seen that with the several homes that we've um, remodeled over the years and um, it, it's it's just very uh, rewarding, okay? Hi, Miss Tiffany. How are you? Happy New Year to you, Shelton and the family. Um, and say hi to your mom. So anyways, um, the, again, what is your goal? What is your plan? Do, if you need help, you know I'm here to help you with the plan, okay? Let's put it in writing. Um, and one thing that I learned um, from a, a great leader um, is put it in writing. And a lot of leaders will tell you that, okay? But it's about carrying through. Are you being intentional with your plan, okay? If you're not intentional with your plan, then it doesn't do anything because it, 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 gets, it becomes imaginary, most at that point you know so put it in writing putting in writing it makes it real well at least it makes it real to me and I think that it should make it real for others and being able to then just like how it is as simple as simple as if you have the goal of losing 50 pounds then break that 50 pound goal into increments so that losing five pounds is achievable so now once you lose five and then you'll get on to getting to hey I can do this I can do ten uh, or I can see myself doing 20. Uh, hold getting yourself an accountability partner. Happy New Year, Miss Tarina. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, Mr. Brian. I hope you are well and Miss Joy is doing well. And I wish the both of you a healthy, healthy 2021. Okay. And future forward because I know Miss Joya has been gone through a lot um, over the years in her health and I want to see her healthy. I need to see you guys. Um, yes, Miss Regina, that's right. Write the vision so it's clear and in front of you. That's right. It's in front of you. And here sometimes what happens? We let life get in the way or we have to take care of somebody else. And so then we sometimes lose sight of that goal and the vision. So that's why, you know, before I, I'll be honest, uh, probably about 10 years ago, 
when vision boards were really cool and, and the thing to do, I used to say, you know what, well, what's the whole purpose of that? But I really see now, I see it. I see the vision, guys. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, the vision, once you put that vision in place, it will it will come to life. Uh, Brian talks about writing it down to achieve it. Hi, Miss Tamika. Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you so much for being a part of my support system over the last decade. You have been instrumental in helping me build and create legacies for other homes and families. And then she, she has a phenomenal business partner, uh, affiliate partner of mine. And she is, if you need somebody to help make your home internally magical, organization, cleaning, you name it, she has, she's been a rising star, actually not been a rising, she is a rising star and a rock star at that point now. So, but anyways, um, um, so Brian talks about the vision boards being built on Pinterest. Yeah, you can certainly do any of that. Uh, and, and a lot of people like to have the actual, I, I really believe technology is great guys. And it helps us, can us keep us organized and we can be uh, efficient and all that, but it starts somewhere. And I think when it starts, when I think, and I know it has to start somewhere when it originates here, it's better when you just have it on paper. And so that I have a vision board. Uh, I have a whiteboard and my whiteboard is at home. My whiteboard is in my office. I have, if you will, a whiteboard on my notebook and I'm always having stickies. I have stickies in every one of my notebooks that I can defer back to as a quick reference. Okay, what did I need? What did I need to do? And then I do checklist. Checklists are very key that I, I, I check them off. Um, I have you know, I've been doing way more at implementing this, the checklist so that, hey, again, if it's in here, but yet you're, you got a million things you're doing on a daily basis, we tend to forget about some of the things that are very near and dear to our heart and forget. And so we forget because we're helping other people. And what happens, unfortunately, sometimes when we help, are so focused on helping others, we may forget, we may forget ourselves. It, it, I, it sounds crazy, but it's certainly sometimes it can happen. Okay. So anyways, with all that being said, be laser focused. Uh, I, I take my Sundays and I plan my Sundays. I plan my week. And then how am I going to execute that is Monday through Friday and Saturday as well. Um, and I still execute on Sunday. I plan as well during Monday through Friday. But if you have your, your plan, how you're going to act on that plan and then making sure that nothing is negotiable as far as being able to accomplish your goal 2021 in the future for it will be will will become a reality for you it will it won't just be a dream or a wish because you've acted upon it once you act upon it you can certainly Hey, Mr. Williams, hope you are doing well. Your plant-based for life business has continued to inspire many. And I see you have made your tr uh, transition or transformation, not transition, transformation and do well. And you're helping and sharing that knowledge with others. And I hope that your restaurant will become a reality very soon. You know that I'm ready for you when you are. And I love what you're doing to inspire and sharing. Uh, he has a personal story and I think that's awesome. Um, I got guys, I can talk about this all day long, but if you have a story, is something that happened to you that made you want to transform and want to do better? And uh, Will is uh, plant-based for life, life insurance, uh, insurance uh, um, rep, but what's important is that he went through, I think we're in 2021, so I think in 2019, he had lost two brothers unexpectedly and uh, due to health reasons. And as a result, it gave him a wake up call. And I hope I'm not giving too much of your story, Will, um, but he has an amazing story. And his story is that, hey, you know, I lost two family members, two brothers who I love dearly to, um, I think it was heart uh, issues, but he decided to make a change for his life. And so he decided to become plant-based. And so therein lies his business, plant-based for life. And so he's inspiring and in sharing his information. 
and his experience with other people said that we hope that we do not lose our own health, our own sanity and our peace of mind, but also see others be healthy. Um, you know, we live in a world in uh, a society, in an economy of convenience. So it's always so much easier to just grab and run something. Well, if we can just grab and run something, but yet it'd be grab and run something that's healthy, why not do that? Hel alkaline water is my phenomenal, is my elixir, if you will, it, essential oils. M meditation has, has, has become more and more of my necessity to be mentally emotionally stable <laughs> i'm not saying i'm crazy <laughs> um, a little insanity makes me sane uh, but at the end of the day the key is what's going to help ground you okay so again reach out to will and if you're interested in, in knowing more about how to become plant-based definitely reach out to him Okay, um, and Regina is another one, but uh, it's, it's in my page. She was further uh, up in my um, my live here, and Regina has been plant based for a long time, and so maybe Re Will and Regina, you guys can partner and leverage together um, to get collaborate together. So, anyways, with all that being said, plan to prosper, guys. So prepare, bring that list, put your plan together checklist what are you that you're going to do to get to your goals and and then leverage find partners that you can collaborate with what is it that you need to do in order and who you need to partner with in order to get those goals accomplished okay a action what are you going to do implement to make sure you your plan to prosper is going to be successful and again non-negotiable your plan is non-negotiable so do not let anything or anyone get in the way unless that individual is helping you get to that goal all right guys so with all that being said plan to prosper i'm here for you if there's anything you can do i mean you need i can do for you please let me know and of course, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be who I am if I can't ask you to do the same thing. If you know somebody who is interested in buying, selling, investing, building a future for their family, building generational wealth for their family, I'm here to help. If you want to look at understanding about how to buy homes, eliminate debt, and be able to buy other things and build your brand, let me know. I'm here for you. Reach out to me, Wendy Lee, Exit Realty 847-420-5923, or you can reach out to me as well through Inbox. And I'm on all your social media platforms. With all that being said, iron sharpens iron. You're right. And that's a great segue to close, Brian. Thanks so much. And have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.